Hello, I'm Anika from Made to Sew and welcome to my Sewing for Beginners series. In this tutorial I'm going to be explaining how to sew corners and I'm going to be sharing two different techniques with you. We're also going to be looking at how to trim the corners and how to turn them to the right side for a professional finish. Now you might want to take a look at my How to Sew Straight Seams video as well. I'll pop a link to that here. Otherwise, let's begin. Personally, I like to draw the seam allowances onto the fabric where I plan to turn the corner. I find that this makes the process much more accurate, especially if you're working on a product that needs two corners to be symmetrical, such as a collar. I would measure in from the edge. For this example, we'll do half an inch, 1.2 centimeters. And I would draw a little line, and then I would measure from the bottom edge and do the same thing just to give me a little right angle. If you would rather just position a dot at the point where your half inch, 1.2 centimeters, is at the corner, you can also do that. It's really up to you, whatever's going to make your life easier. I recommend using a removable pen or chalk when you're marking your fabric. Now we're going to go to the sewing machine and I'm going to show you two different methods for sewing these corners. Begin sewing following the seam allowance. Feel free to use a seam guide if you want to. As I said before, I'm working with the half an inch, 1.2 centimeters. Use pins as well if you want to, anything that's going to help you achieve this. Now, when I get to the small dot here, I am going to stop with my needle in the fabric. If I am worried about sewing and get sewing too far, then you can use the hand wheel on the side of the machine. Turn that towards you and that will create a stitch. So I could use that to make sure that I finish right on the dot. You're going to need to get close to see this. You could also lift up the foot and take a look. And I'm right on the little spot there. Now to turn the corner, I will position the needle into my fabric like I've done. Always turn that hand wheel towards you and swivel the fabric. And you should find that my fabric is lining up on the half inch markings again here. Now on some sewing machines, there are markings horizontally that will help you with certain seam allowances. Often that's the case with 5 8 or 1.5 centimeters. And I do have one here. However, I'm doing a little bit less, which is why having a marking on my fabric helps. Remember when you start sewing that the foot has to come back down again. And then you would continue. Now I'm gonna show you a slightly different technique for a corner. And this is what I use probably more than the technique I've just shown you. What we're gonna be doing now is we're gonna be doing a very similar thing, but we're going to be stitching about one or two stitches on the 45 degree angle. What this does is it helps to free up more space in the corner. So it's perfect if you've got a very sharp corner, if you've got slightly thicker fabric, and generally I do find that it actually achieves a slightly nicer corner than the other one. You might want to draw a little line where you're wanting to sew here. It is simply going to be 45 degrees and you are just going to want to do a couple of stitches that way. One stitch will suffice, but two stitches absolutely maximum. Generally, I might use two stitches for perhaps a thicker fabric. Again, we're going to near the corner. Use the hand wheel again if you need to. Turn the hand wheel towards you. However, you might find that you have good enough control with, the, with your foot pedal, and this is good practice. Again, lift up and check. I'm there, I'm on the mark. Now, rather than turning my fabric 90 degrees, I'm going to turn it 45 degrees and I need to do one stitch. Again, if you're worried, use the hand wheel, turn it towards you, complete one stitch, then press a foot comes up again and we turn another 45 to make it 90 degrees. Then you would continue sewing and finish your seam. Now you may find that if you're gonna be cutting close to this stitching, that you can reduce your stitch length here. Sometimes that can be useful. Perhaps bring it down to about one to 1.5 millimeters. And you can just do it for around the corner as well. Sort of one inch, 2.5 centimeters, either side of that key corner point will be enough to help reinforce it. 
it's not always something that you have to do, just if you're working with perhaps a difficult fabric, something that might fray, or if you're planning on cutting very close to it, such as in necklines, like a V neckline. Take your fabric out of your machine and we can take a look. Now both of the corners have been sewn. This one is a complete right angle, whereas this one has got the single stitch at a 45 degree angle. No matter which method you use, you will need to trim the fabric so that when you turn this around, you have a nice precise point. Using a pair of scissors, you are going to want to cut across at a 45 degree angle, just like so. And you would do the same for both corners. You can then see that I have sort of new points on both of these sides here. So I would also want to get away to take those away. There we go. And that is now ready to turn to the right side. Turn it around to the right side. A little tip I have here is to use your finger and thumb. So I would position my thumb on the inside and I would match that to my finger and then push that corner through, just like so. It will be useful to use a point turner to really get into the point and poke out that point. If you don't have one of these, then you can use a knitting needle, you can use a pencil, try not to use a pair of scissors because I don't want you to cut through your corner, but just be cautious with whatever tool you use. You don't want to poke through the corners that you've just sewn. And there you go, that's looking quite nice already. I would then press this and finish the project, whatever it was I was making. If your corners aren't looking very nice and polished, you will probably need to trim more fabric away. You need to be brave when it comes to the cutting. Thanks for watching, I hope you've learned something new and you feel more confident when it comes to sewing corners. See you soon.